Today I will be reacting to a video of Derek Jackson and his wife explaining the situation that went down with the other woman. They do. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before I get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. But first, watch the entire video. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, who is Anthony Spade, the link is in the description. All right. Today, we're going to be picking up what we left off with the video that I made about um, Derek Jackson getting caught, two women admitting that he had cheated on his wife with them. All right, this video is going to be a reaction. I'm actually watching this for the first time, and I'm going to react to it naturally as I watch it with you. Now, what makes all of this such a big situation is because Derek Jackson is a big deal in the African-American community, dating community, especially whenever it comes to women. Derek has been looked at as one of the good guys, one of the blue pill guys, but this is the time where you see a blue pill guy doing red pill things. What does this show you? This shows you that Derek Jackson is not no superhero man and women need to wake up to that. He was nothing but a fairy tale given to you into believing that you could get a man of his status. And this is what's been leveraged as his um, persona online to go with his image. You're just seeing he's natural, just like anyone else, and he makes mistakes just like everyone. But the impact to people is a blow because he seemed like the perfect guy, all right? So this video is going to be a reaction, but he brought his wife along. Let's see what they have to say. But, you know, a lot has been said already about what was the cause and all that other stuff. Some of it is true. Some of it is completely false. But the truth is, and I'm saying it here now, is that Derek Jackson was involved with other women outside the marriage. And by involved, I want to be clear. I'm not talking about just casually kicking it, maybe a lunch or something like that. I'm talking about as serious as sex um, to sexual flirtation and, and meeting up and that kind of thing. And some things that otherwise may be considered okay by some in terms of like just chatting or, or checking on people or being checked on. One thing that I want to say about this is that one thing that he's doing that a lot of guys don't do in his situation is actually admit that he's wrong. So I'm going to give him some big points on that because a lot of guy, guys would try to cover this up. But at least he's being brutally honest about the situation. And I got to get, and I have to give him credit for that. He got caught and he's admitting he's holding accountability to it. So for all of y'all that's out there getting your laughs in, get him in. But at least be honest. He's being very honest and admitting that he did get caught. by people that I've had a previous encounter with, um, but without my wife's knowledge of it and with us having a sexual history, all of it falls under the umbrella of inappropriate, cheating, affair, stepping out, um, de definitely not in alignment with the vows that I took um, and definitely not in, in alignment with the biblical standard of what it means to be faithful, which is the standard that I'm going by now. Now, I'm saying this publicly, not because I'm you know, married to you guys, This is a <clears throat> this is this is the part that makes you think that he was only doing it for the money is when he's saying he's just now living by these standards. And now when people are looking like, what have you been living by for the past six years if you're now waking up after this situation? See, that's what beta males do. Beta males get caught doing something and next thing you know, they're going to go to church. They want to do everything that a woman does. When a woman crashes in life, she runs to church. She comes up with all these excuses. I wasn't living right. All right, that's what Derek's doing now. He crashed. He hit the wall. Now he's running back to religion. They're going to try to cover it up with religion. And I'm such a changed man. But what he's not realizing is, is that you have now became the guy that you've been perpetrating for the past, what, seven years?
guys. First and foremost, I'm accountable to God. Then I have to be accountable to my wife in which we've already had this conversation. I've already told her literally everything. I've given her basically a, a roll call list. If I've said hello to a woman in the last 12 years of me knowing her, she knows about it. Um, but now that it's been made so public, um, it's important that I first off let you guys know I do not stand by those actions. I don't want to encourage anybody to do that. And then secondly, I know that I cannot build a platform preaching certain things, preaching against certain things. And then in my real life, live contrary to that for any amount of time. Or, or and he's right. That thing right there is probably going to be the thing that starts his career to tumble down. What Derek is not realizing is he messed up at the wrong time. Do you see what Kevin Samuels is increasing right now? Do you see how famous Kevin's becoming? Big shout outs to Kevin. Oh, my God. But Derek's actions are solidifying everything that Kevin has been teaching. Like, like, like you have to understand that at this point, that Derek has been putting off a persona that is now becoming a lie. That's the part that's going to be a devastating blow to his career. Big shout outs to Kevin. For any length of time to any extent and think that I can't be held accountable. You know, the same way that I preach, you know, men and women in this situation need to face consequences of their actions, um, deserve to be held accountable. Guess what? Derrick Jackson's no exemption. He, he's not exempt from that. I'm also not a victim. Um, nobody made me do this. Uh, she didn't make me or push me to do it. The next person didn't make me. No friend influenced me. It don't matter how I was raised and what trauma, whatever. Look, I made decisions. I made a series of decisions that I got to account for. There's no excuse or justification. I've already made that bet and have, have had to lie in it. Um, and now we're finally getting on to the other side personally in our own healing and our own marital oneness. Um, and now this is being made public to you guys. So we're bringing that forth to you guys and let you know where we're at with that. But did you want to say anything? Um, yes. Yeah, so I before we go further, I told you guys in my previous video that before all of this came to surface, his wife had already knew about the other chick. This situation had already gotten out. That's the only reason why his wife came back after they were separated. It's because she realized that there's a chance that this dude is going to leave me and go to another woman, which is what he did. So guess what she's saying? I already have kids with him. Let me go home and work that out. Remember I told you, they were having arguments in their relationships because she was probably talking to him like he was a little boy because he was beta. The moment he showed an alpha trait, went to the other woman, she got that snap back and said, let me go back and get my man because I have kids with him. But they already knew this went down. It just came to public. It could have been on purpose. This could be a publicity stunt, to tell you the truth. I do want to just add that I agree with what he just said. There is no justification for bringing other women into our marriage on any level. And it was unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And it's not something that I tolerate or that we tolerate moving forward. And when I, I've been flooded again with messages and these things and about, you know, I need to leave or why haven't I left? And the answer is, when I found out about it, I left. I did not hesitate or waste time to do so. And I stayed gone. No matter how many times he came, I stayed gone and stood firm on, I am not coming back. And I did not come back until I seen a shift and a change in his mentality. <laughs> no, she didn't come back until she seen a picture of the other girl. That's the truth. All right. She seen a picture of the other girl and said, you know what? If he leaves me, he's going to go get another woman that looks better than me. And 
He took me with kids, so he's definitely going to take another woman with kids. And he has enough money to take care of the kids. But her thing is, she see what's happening in today's world. Not many women are going to have a man, and a lot of women are going to die alone. So understand, when she found out he was cheating, she stayed away until she seen a picture of the girl. The girl that he cheated with. And then she said, let me fix my marriage. And how he carried himself and how he presented himself and and conversations that we were able to have that we had never been able to have in just 12 years of knowing each other. And when we, when we were able to have these dialogues said, OK, Lord, this is something that you've had your hand on. And this was with me being completely removed from his life and and him pursuing God, continuing to pursue God and continuing to eliminate these things that led up to the catastrophe that you guys are seeing. Like I told you, they're trying to cover everything up with religion. And I don't like that. I don't like when people try to push everything into religion. Like, oh, we're going to ask God. We're going to talk to God about this. We're going to talk to God about that. No, people have a natural attraction to other people. It's that simple. Derek Jackson is famous. He's going to always look at another woman. Another woman's going to always want him. He stays on top of his game. But in my opinion, I don't, li I don't like when people start pushing things into religion and using religion. Like, I'm going to start going to church. I'm going to start acting good. I'm going to start doing that. No. He was alpha. Went back into being beta and slipped. for the first time so there's nothing out there right now that is information that i don't already know about or haven't known about um and so this is not something that uh is new <laughs> we have uh moved forward from it we have gotten counsel for for it and continue to do so he is still continuing to pursue god and continuing to seek guidance in, in wise counsel All right, Let, let's bring it back here. I'm going to cut that interview short. You can go to Derek Jackson's page right now. It's the very last video he had. It is trending with him and his wife. Apologize. All right, after watching this, this is my first time watching it. The same with you. I'm going to tell you guys this. This is a publicity stunt for attention. All right. And the reason why I'm going to tell you it's a publicity stunt, because when they talk about the situation, ever since the beginning of the situation to now, everything was taught into past tense. Everything has been past tense, no matter what. It's like, oh, everything is just now getting out. It's not. All of this was planned. All of this was planned to look like he's cheating. He said, all right, I'll take the butt of the situation. Look like we were going to get a divorce. That's what everyone's doing. Everyone's playing a divorce game to go along with the divorce. Everyone's coming up with these dramatic things. Look at um, Sweetie and, and, and look at Quavo. Look at all these divorces that are going on. They're just playing into the situation. This woman's not going anywhere. She's not. Everybody that's a celebrity and known is coming up with some type of problem in their relationship in order to get views. You have YouTubers out there that are creating fake lives, fake relationships, and acting like they're having drama in order to get views. And this is nothing more than what it is. Now that I'm watching this video and I'm looking at these two, and I can actually see these two right here. And I could see his face right here. This is all acting. This is all put together. That's all this is. I'm not going to lie to you. And if this is real, she came back because she's seen how pretty the other girls were. The grass is greener for him. But his career ain't going to be green. That's what it is. He got to fix this relationship up. He has to humble himself. If it's real. If it's real, he has to humble himself in order for the women to forgive him so he could get his audience back. So he has to make it look like the black woman has, has, has humbled him. But in reality, she's the one that's scared of losing him to the woman.
He has to protect his career by going into it, by playing along with this. But I honestly think that this is a publicity stunt. But what does this teach you about life? A man is going to be a man. A woman is going to be a woman. That simple. The more successful you become, the more valuable you become, the more easier it is for you to get another woman. It's that simple. But the only reason why he's simping like this is either a publicity stunt or he's thinking about the kids and the child support, even though he can afford it. All right. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you guys get the message behind the video. Learn from his situation. But in my opinion, opinion, being that everything was talked about from past tense, it's almost like it may have happened. They got over it. But then it's like, all right, we need a spark. How do we get the attention back on us? All right. Let's just have her put those tweets out. Let's just go ahead and blow this up bigger than what it was. And it worked. Why? Because relationship, divorce, breakup, and makeups is the trend. Hasta la vista. Comment, subscribe to both of my channel. Links are in the description. Peace.